Hello, my name is Trina and welcome to this channel called Healing with Color. Today I wanted to do a quick video just talking to you about <clears throat> ways of expressing yourself through color that can be very healing. And when I say expressing yourself, I mean actually creating art to express yourself and heal with color, with these colors. I want to show you an example of that by showing you some of the um, hand embroidered beads I recently finished making in order to make a piece of jewelry. Um, I'm still working on it bit by bit, but I felt drawn to pick specific colors um, and they've been very tremendously healing. And I feel like I know why. So let me share with you these particular uh, pieces that I have and what all the colors that I use mean to me. So here's one of the beads. And it's hand embroidered fabric bead, it's hand sewn. This one's not quite done, but it's almost done. And I've been really attracted to a lot of different colors. My main colors that I like are black and red, but I've really been uh, attracted to many colors, kind of like a rainbow of colors. And um, the pink makes me think of love and, pr and protection, protecting the heart. The red coming through makes me think of power and intention. The blue makes me think of healing. And the green makes me think of prosperity. So those are kind of the main colors I've been using and with some purple in the mix. And purple makes me think of spirituality, the, the crown chakra, so. So these are the, let me take a whole bunch of them out at once, put them in my hands so you can see them. <clears throat> but this is another very powerful way of healing by sitting down, taking time out and picking specific colors that you feel gravi that you gravitate towards and creating some art from it. And art therapy is being used more and more uh, because a lot of therapists realize that they can't provide enough for their patients to help them to heal from whatever traumas they've gone through. These are the beads that I've been working on. And <clears throat> on my Dark Moon Doll channel, um, I'm loading up a, a show that I did today. Oops. For a show that I did, loading up a video for a show that I did called um, Art Talk. It's on my Dark Moon Doll channel, so you can check that out in there. But I wanted to share this with you, these colors, and how <clears throat> when you're feeling low and down in the dumps, um, creating art and expressing yourself through color can really help with whatever it is you're going through. And pick whatever colors you feel you gravitate towards. You may not be gravitating towards these type of colors, but whatever colors you feel that's the ones you should work with. So, um, always seems that I end up coming back to two main colors, which is orange and yellow or gold. And this is a little uh, goddess that I made from the uh, fabric beads with these colors in it. I wouldn't think these two color combinations look right, but for me, for some reason, it it makes sense. <laughs> So what I'll probably do is add a jump ring to this and make it a charm, but I want to make it into earrings. So um, I'll keep you updated on that. And I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of uh, what I do to help to heal with color therapy, mixing color therapy with art, healing with um, color, using art to express yourself, and using art to take time out to really be aware of what it is that you're going through. So yeah, <clears throat> I'll show you a few more things as far as um, fabric beads go with different colors. And then I will say a farewell to you. <laughs> but here's another uh, creation that I made, the tan embroidered fabric beads. And these colors uh, with the purple, the pink, and the blue mixed together kind of gives me this feeling of um i don't know i think of like matte like these are like magical colors the pink is associated with the heart chakra purple 
is associated with the crown chakra <clears throat> and um, blue I believe is the throat chakra so yep and this this is just a bead a fabric bead it can be even used as a dread like bead <clears throat> so here's some of the earrings that I've made with these different colors expressing this is a heart earring hand embroidered fabric beaded earring here's the other side and it's a heart on the other side green and pink because I associate green and pink with the heart chakra <clears throat> so yeah and I show you how to make these kind of beads on my other uh, channel um, Dark Moon Doll and also on my channel, uh, the Productive Cannabis kind of sewer as well. So, yeah. Here's one more thing I'll show you. This is an earring. Certain colors can really, um, really heal you. Can make you feel, um, I don't know, just maybe lighten your mood. Sometimes these color combinations lightens my mood. It makes me think of Cat in the Hat. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to share these things that I've been working on with you guys to encourage you to express yourself with color. When you're creating your artwork, even if you're not doing anything like this, what I'm doing, if you're creating your artwork using, um, you know, colored pencils or paints, try using color and see if that can have a healing effect on you. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thanks for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you're working on anything um, specifically dealing with color and healing yourself. Because it can be tremendously healing to work with these colors that you vibrate with. And those colors, there's so many colors out there in the world for a reason. So for each person, there is a color that they need in order to heal themselves. So there's more history behind um, healing with color and I want to further research and bring forth more for you guys. And if you have anything, any suggestions, you can feel free to leave that in the, in the comments below so that we can all share what we know. So yeah, thanks for joining me. If you'd like to subscribe to this, I mean, support this channel, you could donate a dollar or more to my PayPal at kdaddytmama at comcast.net and include a question you'd like to see answered on an upcoming show. So yeah, thanks for joining me, everybody. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.